Hey guys, what's up? John here from flyatmikealpha.com and today we're going to be taking a look at steep spirals, the commercial maneuver where you basically perform a private pilot turn about a point. So for starters here, the first thing you have to do to successfully do a steep spiral is you're probably going to be picking a point, probably it's going to be the airport. So you're going to be picking a point to either make a turn about, probably the airport, so you're going to circle around that airport. And you're going to have to choose an altitude that is sufficient to continue through a series of at least three 360 degree turns. So making three full circles around the airport. Now that means power off in most airplanes is probably going to be about four to 5,000 feet. So most of your commercial trainers, you're going to have to pick about 4,500, 5,000 feet to start with coming in over the airport to actually be guaranteed enough altitude to make those three turns. If it's an arrow one or something with a really short wing, it might have to be even higher than that. Next thing you want to do is establish and maintain a steep spiral, but don't exceed 60 degrees angle of bank. So you're basically maintaining whatever bank angle you have to do to inscribe three perfectly round circles over the ground. So it's a turn about a point like you do on a private pilot check ride. You're just going to do three of them and it's going to be while you're descending. So it's just a descending turn about a point inscribing three perfectly round circles on the ground while you're coming down towards the ground, establish yourself in theory to land at that airport. So say your engine failed en route, you're at a very high altitude, you glide to directly over top of a field or an airport, you circle that field or airport and you put yourself in a position where you could go ahead and land. You'll need to apply wind drift correction to track a constant radius circle around that selected point, probably the intersection of two runways or the center of one runway with a bank not exceeding 60 degrees at its steepest point in the turn. So you're gonna be varying your bank, but never more than 60 degrees. And you need to divide your attention between the airplane control, the ground track, while maintaining coordinated flight using your rudder appropriately, and also maintaining your airspeed plus or minus 10 knots. So if your best glide speed is 90 knots, you need to maintain that plus or minus 10. So you're going to be maintaining best glide speed in this maneuver, and you need to roll out on the heading the examiner assigns you. He'll probably tell you to roll out on downwind for a certain runway. So you need to roll out on that heading for the downwind plus or minus 10 degrees, of course, accounting for any sort of wind drift corrections totally fine when rolling out on that downwind. It's ultimately a very simple maneuver. It's just a turn about a point while you're descending and you're making three of them. So start it off nice and high, about 4,500, 5,000 feet. Any questions on this at all? Go ahead and leave them in our commercial pilot forum online at flyatmikealpha.com, part of the commercial pilot checkride prep bootcamp. One of our CFIs will get back to you as soon as possible. Be sure to check out some of our other checkride prep courses online at flyatmikealpha.com. And if you can't fly every day, then fly8mikealpha.com. We will see y'all next time.